Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Friday lunch chat. It's been a long week, and I'm still confused about what day it is. I think it's going to just get compounded by heading into a holiday weekend. But um, yes, it's been so much fun because it has been fireworks central up in here, and I am not talking about the kind that start fires, which are banned. So don't light any off, please. Um, no, I am talking about the best kind of fireworks, the ones you knit into sweaters. Oh, I got to grab mine. I forgot to bring it in here. Um, anyways, hi, 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 hi. Uh, Marie could not have designed a more timely sweater since fireworks are banned all across the Pacific Northwest <laughs> and uh, due to extreme, extreme fire danger. And we all have fireworks we can do ourselves. And those are the kind we make with two sticks and some string. And they cause zero fires, except when they light a fire under our ass to go buy more yarn. <laughs> happy, happy fireworks Friday. Hello, hello. Um, I know the band makes me sleep a lot easier, but it also just, God, are people going to really pay attention? Are they going to do it? Are they going to follow the rules? I don't have a lot of faith in people after the last year and a half um, or some people. There's, I have a lot of faith in you guys. I know you guys would, would follow the rules. <laughs> oh, Deborah, Deborah asked about the temperature. We have done cooled down. We're just in the like mid to high eighties for the next spell. So thank you. Uh, thank you, mother nature. We needed the break and the wind is here, which makes it feel fresher. Um, it's, the wind makes it kind of fire dangery, but whatever. Um, I'll take it. 80, 85 and sunny and windy. That'll be just fine. So, um, yeah. Thank you for asking about that. It's so much better than 115. Um, just so much better. My poor kid, I took her to volleyball camp at a college campus uh, just on the west side of Portland. And we went up into the room and that, that campus clearly or that dorm had clearly not been opened since school ended in May. And it, it literally felt like they had turned the heat on in there. And in one, at one point when I went to use the bathroom, I thought, no, they, they definitely have the heat on. And I was like, that's absurd. I'm sure they do not have the heat on. But it was easily like, I would estimate it was between 85 and 90 in that dorm. It was absolutely awful. But outside was cool and gray and it had even misted on us in the car in Portland. And so we you know tried to crack open the windows and everything. But it's just amazing how that few days of really hot in that area that doesn't normally get that hot. It just all went inside that building and stayed there with it all closed up. So um, hello, Dale in Colorado. Audrey, I'm so happy you're flying through your sweater. Oh, yay. She said the videos were helpful. Woohoo! Got some more videos for you today. So um, you're probably already past the bobbles. I got my little no turn bobble video coming up for the fireworks knit along. So Anyway, you may have noticed in the description, I said we have a giveaway and we do, and you're going to want to stick around for it because it was really good. So hang on. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really great. We'll, we'll get to that later. What else do I want to talk about? Okay. Oh, you may have seen, if you saw my Facebook post or my Olive Knits post, that our samples are now online for sale. We, um, I charged my oldest Campbell with taking care of getting all the photographs done for all of the samples. And she just finished that up before she had to go uh, to work for her camp. And um, I got them all online this week, earlier this week. And they're fantastic. Great pictures, but even better, great deals. So if you know someone who uh, likes to buy knitted stuff or is always asking you if you'll knit something for them, you can just point them to our, um, our website because they're all listed there. Uh, we have everything from hats to sweaters to scarves to shawls to cowls. And we do have baby stuff. Um, it's just not been photographed yet. So that stuff will be coming probably in the next week or so. Baby hats, a few baby sweaters. I just need to get pictures of them. So um, that is a huge, huge thing. In fact, we've already sold two olive sweaters, olive knits. And we've sold one of my favorite, favorite uh, wraps that I've ever knit. It was the Crown Wools by Casa Pinka. It was just such a beautiful sample. Uh, someone snatched that up right away. And some pads. So yeah, or if you even need something and don't have time to want to knit it and you know, it's a, there's some really good deals like 40 bucks for a knitted beanie and things like that. So um, 
yeah, Campbell did a good job. Kim, I'm very proud of her. She, I thought she took some really good pictures. So, um, yeah. Uh, Kathy, any suggestions about tension? Tension, can you be more specific? Send in another comment and I'll come back to, to answer your question. Um, Oh, you make cherry jelly out of the soft cherries. I bet that's really good, Beth. Yum. Nom, 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 nom. Um, samples, yeah. I'm going to hold on just a second and see if Kathy follows up her question. Um, as we all know, the, the comments come in a little delayed for me. So you might already have seen. Well, okay. I'll just move on to the next thing. And if I see it come in, Kathy, I'll, come, I'll circle back. Um, okay. I have a fun thing <laughs> that I've been cooking up for you guys. Um, I've actually been working on it, um, most of this year already and it's getting close. It's getting really close, but now I need your help. So here's the lowdown. We're going to be launching a, not another hat membership or club as you would. And this is going to be something that you can subscribe to on a monthly basis or pay up front for for a year. And you'll get you access to all kinds of cool stuff, like a free pattern every month, special club member only discount shopping um, weeks where you just get to shop at a special discount, just club members. It'll get you access to all of our virtual courses for half off which includes the spring and fall yarn tastings. So if you're a fan of those yarn tastings, that alone right there just about covers the cost of the membership. Um, what else? Swag. There'll be swag. Um, all kinds of fun goodies like that. And so I have some ideas of what to call this club, but I haven't loved my ideas. And so this is where you guys come in. We are hosting a naming contest name our club and i want your most creative inventive silly punny whatever ideas so we have a form you can fill out where you can drop your suggestion and if we choose your suggestion to be the name of our club you will win one free year in the club which is like 180 dollars value so julia just dropped a link into the comments where you can click it's a google form just go in and leave us your you got to leave your email so we can contact you if you win um and your name suggestion because i think you guys collectively have a lot of funny business going on i've seen some of the things you post in unraveled and you make me laugh all the time so i am pretty certain that we're gonna nail it with the naming um if you guys also get your brains involved so um, yep. Julia just put that in there. So little naming contest happening now. Um, and I didn't think about how long we'd leave the naming contest open, probably about a week. And you can, you can enter more than once. So if you've got a couple of stellar ideas, go ahead, drop them in again. So that is, uh, that will be great. Um, yeah, super fun. I can't wait to see some of the results. I just had Julia and, and, um, some staff test out the form and already there's some really good ideas, but they're not eligible to win. <laughs> they're going to be in the club anyways, <laughs> but anyways, um, I can't wait to see your guys' ideas roll in and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. um, okay. I know you guys are all just waiting for this good part, right? So we have new Cardi Bell bags and you know, I love to show them to you in the videos. And we're going to do that right now. And then at the end, we're going to do a giveaway. Oh, yeah. All right, where do we start? We're going to start with the big ones, the Bonnie Bucket Bag. So this is a new style that just debuted, um, like the last time I showed Cardi bags, and they just sold out like a split. But these are a really nice big size bucket bag. Sorry, Kim. And she's got some new fabric. So look at this gorgeousness right here blue sheep so these big sturdy bags they have pockets around the outside they have pockets on the inside uh which it's dark you're not going to be able to see the pockets on the inside and then they have this great top that can kind of expand if your project gets big and then you can cinch it closed to carry it around nice carrying strap and they are sturdy they will just stand up you know so you can just haul this around and then plunk it next to your chair and get knitting um so there's this guy I love this one. 
gray polka dots with red accent. Gorgeous. Oh, gotta reach. The gold and gray sheep, super, super cute. And last but not least, we have this cutie here. It's got the I knit therefore I swear fabric. So really, really fun. Really nice. Okay, so we had four bonnies. Um, next up, we have two carded arounds. This is the great bag that's got um, two handles here, nice sturdy rectangular opening. It's also got the, the uh, cinch closed top there and this zipper pocket here on the front. So we have this guy here and <laughs> like, where's the other one? Well, oh, there's such a pile. You have no idea what is just right there. <laughs> and then this one, which is that really fun um, fabric that's got like, I call it knitting language because it's just got like knitting words all over it. So fun, classic, gray, black. All right, what next? Uh, we have some caddies. We have this beautiful gold floral fabric here. So the caddies are the great rectangular ones. It holds three 100 gram cakes, really nice right here. Outer pockets, um, great kind of grab and go. Uh, we'll sit down into a larger bag really well. So there's that guy and there's this. This is so fun, this knitting fabric here. Knitting mermaid. How cute is that? Here's the back. Isn't this fun? I love, 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 love. It's got a little polka dot lining. And one more caddy. Where is that? Oh, right here. Okay. This is that beautiful, I knit so I don't kill people. <laughs> I just love this. I love how elegant this looks with floral, etc. But then it says I knit so I don't kill people. And the lining matches that too. So those are the three caddies. All right. And now last but not least, we got in some of the knit abouts. So these are the great ones that you can put over your arm um, and walk around and knit. And they have like the nice big center. Whoop, there we go. Opening. And then the front has the flap here that lifts up where you can store some tools and things like that um, right down tucked into these pockets. And then that just closes here. And Kara uses all of her vintage buttons because she has a massive vintage button collection. So she loves putting these combos together. So we've got this bright pink sheep. We've got the floral gold that was uh, also in one of the caddies. Love that print, it's so pretty. We have the Knitting Mermaid, so cute. And we have the blue sheep, like the uh, Bonnie bag. And then we have this, I call this like retro flowers. It's so, this reminds me of some really great fabric at my grandma's house. Um, love it, love it, love it. It's it's a little more intense pink than you can see and kind of gold or green in there. I think it's kind of diminished on the video, but love it. All right, so now you saw all of the gorgeousness. Let's talk about the giveaway because Miss Kara is being so generous, you guys. Everybody say, thank you, Kara. Look at this one. It's the I Knit So I Don't Kill People fabric, pink liner, and cute little vintage sparkly black button here. And here's our flap inside. And she's giving this away to one of you lucky dogs. So here's how you enter right now. I want you to say in the comments your favorite pattern you've knit ever. So you don't have to link to it. Just, just say the name of the pattern, like the favorite thing that you've ever knit or crocheted that you can remember. I, I'm trying to think for myself. If I was asked this question, what would I, what would my response be? My favorite thing ever. It might be a worm hat. It's really basic, but it is just so wearable and I've made it multiple times. And so I think that would be a strong contender. The old town cardigan could be also a contender because I'm obviously I'm making it again. Um, so it's definitely something that I really, really love. And I'd love to wear it. It's one of my favorite things to wear. Um, oh, I see plot twist in there. That's awesome. So dot nut. Oh, I love this. So here's the thing. I thought of having you guys say this because I thought that um, this could be a really good resource to come back to, right? So I could just like troll through everything that you guys are saying in your comments 
for pattern names. And it's just a really great list. Like maybe I'll put it together into a document. Oh, that would be even better. If I got it together into a little Google Doc that I could share with you guys so that we could all see and go and like explore everyone else's favorite things ever. Would you like that? I think that would be really fun. Love note, Claire. Hmm. Oh, that could be what the contender for me too. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh boy. Hmm. Wow. I look at you guys putting all of your favorites in. Oh, campsite is a good one. <laughs> Remembering all these things I've made and really, really loved. Um, it's so great. Campside. Yes. Bentley, Kara, Kara's watching this video, you guys, everybody. Hi, Kara. Kara's the best. Kara's making a Bentley right now. She's made a Bentley and she's going to make another Bentley and we're going to make it together. So Bentley is one of the olive knits. It's a cute little um, cardigan. It's got the little keyhole the detail on the sleeve and we are both going to make it in um, the Dreaming Color Smooshy Cashmere. Actually, I'm not going to force her to also make a Bentley. She's made several, but She's going to use the cashmere for something, and I'm going to use it for a Bentley. <laughs> oh, ah, Linda, you're a chicken doily. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, look at these coming in. Okay, I think we'll just give it one more second or so here, and, um, and then I'm going to task Julia um, with drawing a random winner from all y'all's um, comments. Uh, this is so fun. And then I'm definitely going to come back in. I think what we'll do is we'll just come back and make a big list and then I'll try to get links to from what you're saying so that the um, when we finally share like a Google Doc or something that you can just click and, and you don't have to look them up. Um, ooh, the descent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Oh, this is great. This is a really fun. I'm glad I thought, I'm glad I thought of that being the condition to enter. <laughs> All right, let's see. Julia, when uh, your official time hits 1218, let's go ahead and cut it off. And then um, I'll let you, I'll give you a few minutes to stick all that stuff in the random, random generator. Slope. We have a slope for sale right now in the sample sale. Um, Cindy said that slope is one of the things, favorite things that she's ever made. It's a beautiful tank with a, um, a high-low hem and it is a really nice, nice um, summer sweater. We have one in gorgeous orange, that Shibui yarn that was designed in. I can't remember the name of it out there in the sample sale. Um, yeah. Uh, look at Spice Ginger and Cider Press, both excellent choices. Excellent. Um, wow. There are so many. Audrey noticed there's a lot of Marie's designs on that list. Um, we definitely skew pretty olive knits favorable here, not another hat. So that makes sense. <laughs> Deborah, I was waiting for someone to finally say, like, who could possibly remember? <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Lindsay Anderson, congratulations. You have won this Kara bag right here. This knit about that is so beautiful that says that you knit so you don't kill people. Woo! All right. That is so fantastic. Congratulations, Lindsay. We have your address, so we will get that in the mail to you. That is so exciting. So exciting. Thank you, everybody, for playing along. I love that I'm going to have this great list that I can share with you probably next week um, of all these pattern ideas. So have an amazing and safe 4th of July and happy fireworks knitting, not fireworks doing, uh, to all of you. So take care and I will see you next week. Toodaloo.